Why Blender? I always have to answer this. Friedrich, why are you so obsessed with Blender? A 3D program for 2D animation? Isn't that stupid? Here are five things that I love about Blender for 2D animation. I have to address this one first. It's so ridiculous, when I first heard it, I thought it can't be true. One of the first things you get to experience in this life, it isn't free. Everything costs something. And if something is free, there usually is a trick to it. But trust me on this one, Blender is just free. Mm. But how did they go free? Wikipedia. <clears throat> Blender is a free and open source 3D computer graphics software tool set used for creating animated films, visual effects, art, 3D, printed models, blah 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 blah. History. So in 2002 it actually went bankrupt. And then in May 2002, Rosendahl started a non-profit Blender Foundation with the first goal to find a way to continue developing and promoting Blender as a community-based open source project. On July 18, 2002, Rosendahl started the Free Blender campaign, a crowdfunding precursor. The campaign aimed at open sourcing Blender for a one-time payment of 100,000 US dollars with the money being collected from the community. On September 7, 2002, it was announced that they had collected enough funds and would release the Blender source code. Today, Blender is a free and open source software, largely developed by its community, as well as 26 full-time employees and 12 freelancers employed by the Blender Institute. So, in 2002, Actually, the community bought the program for 100,000 euros to be open source. It is now available to everybody. That is incredible! Okay, it's free, but still, though, why 2D animation a 3D program? Reason number two, let me show you. When it comes to tools for 2D animation, there hasn't been anything in the last years that got me as excited as this specific thing. Number two. Have you ever tried to draw the perfect circle and miserably fail again and again and again? That is a big part of 2D animation. What if I told you that Blender has just the answer for this? It is called the Sculpt Tool, which lets you push your drawing simply into the right shape and the right position. This is genius way beyond the drawing stage. Have you ever struggled with in-betweens? This lets you just duplicate a keyframe and push it ever so slightly so you can make this beautiful ease ins and ease outs. So you save a lot of time doing this super tight in-betweens that you can invest rather in your keyframes, breakdowns or enjoy some time in the sun. So number two is the Sculpt Tool. The third thing that I love about Blender has to do with this piece of art. It's actually by my super talented and awesome sister Pekise. This is one of the most beautiful drawings that I possess and that I always look up to. This is just something that inspires me every day. So, but what has this to do with Blender? Similar to this, I'm a big fan of animation that has some edge, some character, some flaws to it. Usually, I get way too tight with my drawing, probably because I take it way too serious. Vector-based programs have always added to that. It is like drawing with a pen that is immediately black and has a lot of precision. You can't feel your way into a drawing, but it has to be precise right away. Blender has something called the noise modifier, which just messes and wobbles the lines. With just a couple of clicks, you can make any still illustration or text feel like it has been hand animated. This doesn't replace character animation and acting, of course, but it is a nice effect that fights the overall stiffness of vector in drawing for hours. Number three, the noise modifier. Number four, 
One of the things that costs a lot of time in any production is changing between programs and tools. Blender is like this multi-tool. It has about everything you would need. You can storyboard, draw, animate, composite, and even video edit everything in Blender. Number four, draw, comp, and edit. And last, Did you ever struggle assembling furniture? Blender is super well documented, not only from the Blender and official side of it, but also from loads of content creators all around the world that share the knowledge mostly for free. If there's any problem you're struggling with, you will find an answer online. And if the problem persists, there is a new Blender version every three to four months with new tool fixes and improvements since it's open source, become part of the community. Developers are listening and trying their best to make Blender better for everybody. Ah. Number five, documentation, support and development. So here are my five reasons why I love Blender for 2D animation. Number one, it's for free. Number two, the sculpt tool. Number three, noise modifier. Number four, draw, comp and edit all in one place. And last, documentation, support and development. That's it for me. Bye bye. Have a more. I'm going to come there.